Dear Earth. Dear artists and writers and poets and musicians. Dear children. Dear white climate activists. It is the year of fracture, of starting to understand. I'm sorry for what we've done to you. There is a crucial need for you to recognise that the climate crisis has not affected us all equally. I am not written in stone, but in time. Why didn't we save ourselves when we had the chance? I'm sorry that when I first heard about what was happening, I looked away. Well, I listened away, to be factually correct. And people listen and nod and agree and glaze a little, but mostly say yes. Yes, I know it's terrible, but it might not happen. It might not. I mean, can you imagine something as so stupid as relying on newspapers and journalists? I should know, I am one. I'm sorry I didn't pick up a book. So please, don't shrug and say, what can we do? It's too late. You will never win this fight alone, and nor should you try to. The fight for social justice and against the climate crisis are one and the same. We despair when we have no stories to describe the present or to shape the future. I have begun to pray. I find myself praying by trees on earth. You may think that you are simply one small positive droplet in an ocean of troubles. A droplet that can't do anything. Things are going to change. Together, you form a sea. We are in this together. We are the experts in staring down existential crises, in resilience and winning battles while the war rages on. We are made for each other. That sea can make a change. <laughs>